Alright guys, Joshua and Goodalmu here. By popular demand, we're going to have a prequel to our Multiquence trailer. So here's Multiquence. This is not the trial version, but the full version. And this program is a very simple program, but it can, has lots of complexities too. So let's get straight to it. You want to make a stop motion. Well first, you need to insert some pictures. Now first, Pick one picture, all right? We wrote, told it to open. We'll go to my documents, my pictures, and uh, for simplicity's sake, we'll pick a stop motion that's already being worked on for our series. Tanks around the corner. That's what I named the folder. Yeah, I already had a folder full of pictures so but we're not loading all the pictures in just yet we're loading one that's important so here it goes it's loading multi coins can do a lot I really like it for stop motion what mostly makes it great is it's a cheap program so let's say you like the trial version of multi coins you can uh, buy this program for about $39 and that's a lot cheaper than a lot of your movie making programs, which can be over $100. So you go into Section Options, you right click your picture, hit Section Options. Now this is your time for each picture, okay? You want point zero four two. I don't know if you can see that well enough. Point zero four two. Sorry, this isn't isn't going as well with the camera as I had hoped. But uh, you want zero point four two because that is the equivalent of 42 frames a second. Then you go over here, where it says save this time as default time for any new images sections. You click that, and you hit OK. So now your first image is way down here. You can't even see it, it's so small. Which, you know, you can always go into view and either look at all, one second, 10 seconds, five minutes. We're gonna go to 10 seconds at the moment. So now you can see a little blip there. Go ahead and add the rest of your pictures now that they're going to be at 0 0.042. If you forget what the speed for 24 frames a second is, go into your calculator and hit 1 divided by 24. And it'll give you the decimal. Anyways, now it's loading our pictures. Multiquence isn't going to be able to do anything while it's loading those pictures. Multiquence was, is a, a movie maker designed by Goldwave to do a lot of basic things but do a lot of complex things too for an affordable price. Goldwave is real good about their technology being affordable and uh, that's what I liked about it. Originally I was going to buy Stop Motion Pro for my series and I saved up the money to buy it. It was like a, a hundred bucks or whatever and I went online and guess what that hundred buck version was? It was the the learning version. It was like uh, useless because it only went 15 frames per second. I can do faster than that in Windows Movie Maker. In order to get the program from Stop Motion Pro that I needed, it was going to cost me over $600 for the program. And trust me, this laptop's six years old. It's not worthy of a $600 program. And if you're like me, you don't have $600 lying around. But I didn't want to steal programs either. So it's loading our pictures right now. If you have a lot of pictures, you might have to insert them in like uh, 40 pictures at a time, if you have more than 40. Otherwise, it just won't load them all. It's hard to find good programs that were made for stop motion. And a lot of those programs are either very basic, like Monkey Jam, or they are crazy expensive, like Stop Motion Pro. And, uh, Multiquence is 39 bucks. I mean seriously, if you if you're going to buy a program 
and you don't have a ton of money. Multi Quince is great. It can chroma key, can do a lot of things. And uh, I'm gonna pause while it's loading. Oh, it, our our video is in there. Okay. Now we add new tracks for if we want to overlay videos or whatnot or add sound. Now, if you hit play, it's not gonna show you anything. So we're gonna save our video. That's important. So we go into this, we hit save as video. We have to give it a name. I suggest saving an AVI because it has the most detail. We're gonna call it tank test. A. I usually name it one. You can change your video settings down here. Put your frame rate at 24 frames a second. Hit save. Make sure you this, it, you check where it wants to save it. My other computer wants to save it deep in the bowels of my computer's files. As in, you know, like, program files. But my laptop wants to put it in my documents, which is good. Now, your video encoder, encoder is important. I spent a lot of hours going through all of these video encoders going, Oh, crap, and then some of them just crashing, and it was terrible. Now, if you have the trial version, you have less versions to go through. Now, this may vary on computer to computer, but pick the Indio Video 5.10. Now, if you have the trial version, you're going to have a compression version of that. So it'll be like Indio 5.10 compression or something like that, or Intel Indio, something like that. But you want Indio Video 5.10, at least... That's what works best on my computer. Put your your audio format 16-bit stereo. Why go mono when you can go stereo? So we're going to save it, and I'll turn back on the camera, and you'll see what we do after that. 